Hey everybody, and welcome back to Knowledge on Ears. Look at this bright blue color. I love it, it's so nice. This is actually a smart LED strip. And I got it from this box, where I got two smart LED strips, and it has up to 16 different colors. So you could put this smart LED strip underneath your bed or your like behind your TV. Look at this picture. So they look really nice, but in my box, I actually got two of these smart LED strips, but only one LED controller. And this controller allows you to control the color of the LED strip. So what do I do with my extra LED strip? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show how you can actually control the colors of your smart LED strip without an LED controller. So let me disconnect it. So how does this smart LED strip even work? So if we take a look at it, the whole strip is divided into small segments like this one right here. And just assume that this segment has three LEDs inside of it. A red one, a blue one, and a green one, RGB. That's why we say it RGB. And what happens is that you light up each red, green, blue LED at different intensities to create different colors. So for instance, if you light up the red and blue LED, you'll create the color purple. So all of these different combinations creates all of these different colors that you see over here. So that's super cool. Now, let's actually dive into the circuit diagram of what we're going to build for this. This is our circuit diagram for how we're going to control the LEDs and create different colors. So this is a potentiometer. This is the symbol for it. And this is an LED. So what is a potentiometer? Well, it's like a it's like a variable resistor or a voltage divider. And what it does is that you can turn the knob to change the resistance of the potentiometer. So that means that by turning the knob, you can change the intensities of the LED. Feel free to check out our LED video that we made previously. So in this case, Assume that each one of these is one of the RGB LEDs in one segment. We're just going to be talking about one segment. And each potentiometer will control the intensities of each light by increasing or decreasing the resistance. So in this parallel circuit, turning this potentiometer, for example, is not going to impact this LED or this LED. So they, they're all separate in a parallel circuit. So if we turn the potentiometer, that's going to change the intensities of the LEDs, which once again creates different colors. So now let's actually look at how this works and let's build it. Now, we are going to build the circuit that we just looked at on paper. So we have our smart LED strip and we have our circuit on the breadboard. Keep in mind, it's not going to be the exact same circuit that we looked at on paper because I don't have three potentiometers right now. But I'm going to use one potentiometer and have one steady color to still show you how you can combine these colors to make new ones. So how does this whole circuit work? So first, we have a 9 volt adapter. It's plugged into the wall. And I'm going to plug it into this connector later on. So the power from the 9 volt connector comes here. And what what's going to happen is that I provide the power to this LED strip. So there's four different wires here, white, green, red, and blue. The white one is for power. I'm going to connect the red one here into the white one. But the green, red, and blue are for each of the LEDs, the red, green, blue, RGB LEDs. So to actually light up that color, you have to plug it into one of these three strips. So first let's provide power to the white. Then, if I say I connect the potentiometer to, let's say, the color green, what's going to happen when I provide power is that when I turn the potentiometer, the, the color green will change in intensity, in brightness. And for the last color, I'm going to plug in to red. And what's going to happen with red is that red is going to stay constant. It's going to stay the steady color while green changes as I move the potentiometer. So let's see how it works. I'm going to plug in power. Three, two, one. So as I said, red is constant. It's going to stay like this for the rest of the thing. So I have red. And now as I slowly start to turn 
the potentiometer, you'll slowly start to see green. Oh, that was really quickly. So green, so red, green starts to come. I can show you closer up how that looks. So that was super cool. You can see how green slowly starts to be lit up while red stays the same. So that was super cool. But I showed you how I controlled it manually. I controlled it with the potentiometer with my hand. You can also do this with, like you can do it digitally with electronics, with, um, with transistors. You can do it without having to do it manually. So thank you for listening. I hope you really enjoyed it. Bye.